I'm Karen Blachet and I'm an IFS lead trainer and I've been a lead trainer for about six years. Well, I work in a training center that has hooked up to it. We actually train physicians and therapists and many different kinds of mental health and health professionals. And a colleague of mine who was on the behavioral medicine team with me uh, recommended that we bring in this guy called Richard Schwartz who had written Meta Frameworks as someone that could talk to our family practice residents and various therapists. And when I first came to the organization that I work with, one of my dreams was always to really meld the uh, mind-body world. You know, it's like this thing about physicians take care of the physical and counselors and psychotherapists that we tend to the mind and the spirit. So even 20-some years ago, it was something that I really wanted to see. So when my colleague suggested that Dick come to Asheville and teach, I was really, really excited. I also was trained as a family systems therapist. So looking at meta frameworks and both my love of working with patients that are referred to me by the physicians as well as systems work, it was uh, meant to be, I think. And IFS has been life-changing for me personally and it has been uh, a the right what I would say the right turn in the road for me professionally. I have really been around the block because I work in a training organization. I literally will bring in various models of psychotherapy. And I tell students who are contemplating taking this training and they want to know about IFS, I'll go, wow, oh, it's the coup de grace. You know, I'll say, I'll tell them that I've, I've really been around the block and I really know what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm quite passionate about the model and not only its application to psychotherapy, but also it's, I think it has a pivotal role in really healing the world. So as far as how it's impacted me personally and how it's impacted me professionally, uh, it's kind of like, the Oscars, you know, the Emmys. It's, it's um, top of the heap for me. I have incredible gratitude and appreciation to Dick and to this model for um, bringing profound joy and depth into my life. I'm, I can honestly say I'm um, in so many ways um, the, the best that I can be. Well, of course, you know, I want to share my passion for this work with them. And um, having been on this journey as a trainer, I think it's really, really important that I continue to do my own personal work. So having been on this journey and continuing to benefit from the profound and meaningful changes that this type of work provides, I, of course, um, want my students to experience that, to have what I call a felt sense of that. Obviously, I want them to learn the model. Clinically, it's exquisite, and it can apply to any particular target population or presenting problem. And I came out of the mental public mental health sector, so in my beginning days as a licensed clinical social worker and a psychotherapist, I was treating the full spectrum of DSM-4 disorders. And, and I've moved so far away even from that word disorder to now what is adaptive or what is strategic and how we get through our lives that, you know, we're here to help each other, really. That's what I think. Um, I have so much fun. I have very playful parts and my the trainings that I uh, provide are very lively, very interactive. I think learning can be fun at the same time um, that it provides a safety to explore 
One of the things we really do is bring a lot of curiosity to the learning process. There are various different learning styles. Some people learn visually, auditorily, or kinesthetically. Some people move or learn through movement. And so I really mix it up in the training design. And uh, I would say the primary thing for me is creating a safe container or context for people to be able to do any personal exploration that they want, as well as talk about difficult cases or the application of the work to their current therapy practice. I'm very interested in the somatic uh, aspect of any kind of psychotherapeutic practice, of course. I've already said I have always been interested in really integrating uh, mind, body, soul, heart, spirit. So in the trainings that I provide, I really like to, per to help students have what I would call a felt experience or an embodied experience of the various uh, concepts of the IFS model. For example, we have uh, different types of parts, manager parts, firefighter parts. We all have these different types of parts. It's kind of the roadmap that we use to explain the model exile parts. We all have this beautiful inherent capacity for compassion and um, caring, both for our own parts within as well as those that we may experience in other people. And it's providing experiences that help people really know that, not only cognitively but in their bodies. An example would be the a particular manager, a, someone might have a manager part, and an uh, ex exercise would be to uh, become, get to know that type of part by trying it on in one's physical body. So actually become more aware of what that type of part feels like, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling somatically, what I'm feeling. And that's another way of getting to know uh, what we call in the training, getting to know particular parts of us. I mean, you could know the theoretical conceptual framework and the application of the model and can read Dick's book, Internal Family Systems. But there is something that happens where you come to know yourself and come into connection with not only yourself but other people that is unparalleled. And if you have an opportunity to enhance or improve the quality of your life and the quality of your relationships, I'd say give it a shot. It's, it's a true statement when I say that every student that I've worked with has been so appreciative of that opportunity to go through the training. So. Um, and to know that those of us that are in the training, they're there to support you and will be there at every step and to know that we also do what it is that we're teaching, that we practice. We walk the walk, talk the talk, I guess. That's a good way to explain it. When I was uh, practicing at the mental health center, I can remember days when I really hoped that certain clients wouldn't show up. We would call them dinkas, D-N-K-A's, did not keep appointment. And I would just um, relish those times. And now, my experience is I'm disappointed if someone doesn't come in because I have, so I have experienced so much enjoyment in sitting with my clients and being on the journey of discovery with them. It also has completely um, enhanced my presence as a therapist. One of the things we talk about in the training a lot is a therapeutic relationship, both within the client between the concept of self-leadership, self-energy, the compassion and curiosity they can bring to their own process and how they're organized inside, as well as as therapists, we bring this compassion, curiosity, this calmness, this um, absolute solid belief in our ability to 
you know, be in harmony and in congruence with in ourselves and with others in our lives. We bring that spirit, that love to our work. And um, I truly feel so confident in my abilities with any type of problem, any type of person. I um, also really, as I keep talking about, like the somatic component, many of my clients are patients that are referred by physicians that have chronic somatic complaints that through work with the IFS model, they experience healing in that regard too. You know, when I first took the training, I got a little bit um, jumbled up with the use of this word part or parts. The aha moment for me in the training came when I realized that my initial response to the word part or parts was actually a response of a part that was concerned that I was being categorized or judged or somehow relegated to something other than my the uniqueness and the gifts that I bring. So that was kind of a like, oh, oh I get it now, you know? And this way of just being in relationship with my internal experience uh, so that irregardless of what was coming at me as far as very strong energy or someone being upset with me, I had this really solid and grounded center that I can return to. I would say connection and community, that I have um, a good part of my adult younger years was spent uh, really having those parts out front that were afraid of um, being judged or somehow misconstrued or misunderstood. And the quality of my relationships, the community that I experience in IFS is um, such a gift. I, it's when you ask me about the students and what I hope for each student is to have that, that connection that they feel within and the self-love, the connection and relationship with other people, the sense of community, and the great uh, spiritual connection it provides us in ways that we're, you know, in our unique uniqueness, we're all still connected. And that's so incredible. I'm so humbled completely humbled and aware of the grace that comes with uh, whatever sequence of events happens that you hear about this worker, come to it, the invitation, the opportunity. I'm humbled and so thankful to not only have this model for my own personal life and my professional life, but I'm because of how powerful it is and how tender and gentle it is and how loving it is at the exact same time that I am just eternally grateful and um, appreciative of just all of that and the joy that it brings, the solace and the comfort, the surrender.